practice 14 for us. So we'll uh, practice today. Have our spring game on Saturday. We're looking forward to that. 12:30 kickoff um, in the stadium. Should be a beautiful day on Saturday too. So it, you know, overall, it's, it's been a really, really good spring um, for our guys. And I know that's, that's probably said a lot, but um, you know, I, I really feel that way. I like where our team's at. I think our guys have really. Um, Embrace, bought into it to the new offense that we're running, done, done a great job with that. There's been a lot of positives coming out of that, and uh, uh, defensively as well. I think we've made a lot of improvements, and, you know, really looked hard at some things and changed some things, and it's, it's been good for us. So um, I like the approach our guys have taken. I, I really like the, like the, the, the feeling and the culture about our team right now. And obviously, we've been a lot of work to continue. And, uh, a lot of guys got to keep working throughout the summer and get better. So our job as coaches is to really detail those things out, give them, give them a great plan moving forward, what they got to do. And, and um, you know, just, just from being around our guys right now in our group, I, I, know, I know they'll do that throughout the summer and get ready to go. Questions? Okay, questions. Coach, any changes to the spring game format from last year? Yeah, you know, we're still talking through that. It won't be anything drastic. I mean, I'm, we're not going to divide the, the teams up, have a draft, anything like that. We, you know, some form of offense, defense, whether it's ones, which ones, ones, which twos, or how we do it. Um, we're still talking about it. So, I don't know, you know, a lot of that, the scoring system is more for fans and whatnot. I, I just want to go out and have, have a good, good, clean practice, good day. Uh, I'm looking forward to you know, being a nice day, being outside, and, and we should have a good turnout. NPS Nonprofit Services has the technology and know how to achieve your nonprofit goals. We have all the tools that you need for your nonprofit to be successful, including tech support, consulting, development strategies, and business continuity to make sure your data is safe on-prem or in the cloud anywhere all the time. Call NPS at 877-797-8776. We're easy to reach and easy to work with. Is there anybody being held down uh, for the spring game? Yeah, we'll, we'll hold out several guys. More. There, there'll be a... Guys, there that you know, I, I said the team the other day. I mean, it's not it's not who coaches like and don't like. It's, it's based on experience. And th we have some guys on the team that have played a lot of game snaps that don't necessarily you know need a need all those snaps. So there'll be some guys that, that we hold out all together. There'll be some guys that, that, that play limited snaps. They play some, but play limited. And it's all really based on Don. I and mean, we keep track of how many game reps guys, how many practice reps every guy on the roster, what they've had. We, we try and weigh all these things out to, to who needs it. So if there's no scoring system, everybody gets steak and lobster after the game. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't know about that. You know, we, we always there's always in our program there, there's there's a competitive edge. So some someone's going to get get some sort of reward for for achievement, and, and someone won't. But like I said, we're, we're still going through that. But it, I, I don't know. It won't be any big mathematical uh, equation for what's going on. There. You mentioned that uh, you like how the uh, guys have taken to the new offense. What things specifically do you want? I like how we can be multiple with our personnel. I think that's the biggest thing. I think our, our guys like it too. Where you know, um, whatever the depth chart is, but based on your strengths, and if you create a role for yourself, there's things you can do. But there's a fit for you somewhere in the offense. We're, we're more multiple than we do, and so it's not just, you know, for instance, for our, our running backs, where we can utilize two, three guys at one time, as opposed to being always one back. And, and I think, you know, at that position as well as others, it really helps guys to say. It, it, it gives you some some promise to know if I work hard and do what I'm supposed to do, I got a chance to get out there and contribute. You talk about doing some things different defensively. Um, is that a byproduct of being able to do more things because of increased athleticism, experience, or whatever? Yeah, several things. My, yeah, um, personnel wise, that, that certainly mo most things are, are, or all things are personnel driven to begin with. And then, you know, we've just gone back and, and looked at how we're doing some things and, and made some tweaks and changes scheme wise as well. But it's certainly personnel driven. And I, I like where we're at personnel wise. I think we've got, got some, uh, some guys that are doing a good job and we have a chance to be pretty good. Anybody in a drastically different role? Drastically different. Um, no, I, I don't know. I mean, I think, you know, there's different guys in the back end. We're moving to different spots in the back end as well as linebackers. I don't know. Big position changes up or down. No, not really. Um, I mentioned earlier uh, Rashad Lewis is playing some corner force right now, playing some defense. He's doing a really good job with that. We'll determine at the end of spring where, where the majority of his reps come from or if we put them all on one side of the ball. He, he's now split the spring in half on offense and defense and, and done a good job on both sides. What do you like about Rashad at corner? He's got really just he's got natural ability. He's a good football player. He has a good feel for things. He's got good short area quickness and, and movement. And the guys, you know, dynamic that way. And, you know, even even like day one, you put him over there. He just has a feel for things. I mean, he was kind of just really learning on the fly 
but just, you know, he understands football pretty well. Coach, even when J.C. Jackson threw his ups and downs, what would it mean to see him get drafted in a couple weeks? Yeah, I mean, it'd be great. I've, I've been, shoot, J.C., I, I've known since his sophomore year in high school, you know, and he's gone back, you know, his family and a lot of people in his life and, uh, you know, Certainly, I mean that's, that's obviously been a goal of his for a long, long time, and so um, you know, I, I, I do believe that he will get drafted. I, I think he could be a, a big contributor somewhere. You know? So, looking forward to that for him and for his family for sure. Good. All right, guys. Thanks. Thank Have a good day.